So, Felicia and I have just arrived in Mexico City last night, and this is our first glimpse of Mexico City in the daylight. It's freezing cold. Yeah. The, the temp same temperature as it was in Vancouver. <laughs> yeah, it is actually. Yeah, the temperature has dropped dramatically since we were in uh, Tulum and Cancun. That's definitely the warmer part of Mexico at the moment. We're just looking to get something for breakfast and we're walking down the street we just came across a bakery and uh, we've just stopped and looking in the window to see what they have there's literally like a thousand wasps inside the cabinet with all the pastries and stuff it is unbelievable The city looks bustling, it seems like there's a lot going on. We're on our way to get a, to do a free walking tour. We've become quite the fans of free walking tours, haven't we? <coughs> sure I think we found our tour group. They got green umbrellas outside of the Metropolitan Museum of Mexico. Hello. Hola. 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 Bien. Bien. Do you have reservation? Yes. So it turns out that no one else actually showed up for our walking tour, so it's just Galicia and I. But if you've been watching any of our videos where we've been on these sort of tours in the past, you'll know that I don't normally film too much during these tours, normally just put the camera away. I'd maybe film a little bit of B-roll, but not much talking. I will be relaying everything she says to us, to you guys, because I do think that when you come to these places, you should come and do these free walking tours and get the information firsthand. Enjoy the B-roll. We're gonna enjoy our tour, and we'll see you after. really good and uh, we finally found somewhere for Khaleesi to eat finally excellent so the place that we found to eat is a place called Vigamo 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 and it's a vegan restaurant in Mexico City really small really small kind of cute place but there's an upstairs as well uh, and a nice little nice little area outside to uh, what did you say <laughs> Uh, it looks really nice, the staff would be great so far as well. They speak English as well, which, uh, which helps because uh, my Spanish isn't great. I love it here, it's so cute. And they've got vegan brownies. Yeah, everything, everything here is cruelty free, so really good option for vegans and vegetarians visiting Mexico City. up our lunch at the vegan restaurant Vigamo and uh, unfortunately we've chosen the most non-vegan street in Mexico City to walk down on our way back to our hostel. There's literally people just butchering animals all down the street. I mean, look, to my, look, look here just now. This is all dead like chickens and stuff, chicken bits. This is just meat, 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 chicken, 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 chicken. There's probably about four million chickens down this street, oh, literally. Yes, the gringo. Check out this dog. Oh, he's cute. Pero uh, bonito. Oh, he's cute. Thank you. All right, guys, just chase me with this dog. He's not gonna eat the dog in front of me. Actually, I wouldn't put a pass on this street. So the hostel that we're staying at here in Mexico City is the same company that we stayed with in Cancun. It's called Selena and I would, I would recommend it. I, apart from our room, I don't really like our room. It's an eight bed dorm and it's, uh, sorry, it's a 10 bed dorm. Khaleesi just corrected me. And it's got an ensuite bathroom, which initially you would think is a good thing, but actually it's not. To be sharing a bathroom with eight or nine other people isn't actually as fun as it sounds. And our room door also makes this really awful noise. I'll try and capture it on camera next time we go up, but it's like, it kind of sounds like a trumpet. It kind of goes, ah. So this is the noise that the door makes. What? 
as soon as you close the door or open the door so that's not nice it was also freezing in the room last night so we're gonna get blankets tonight but it's a really nice area to hang out here like downstairs it's very chilled you can hear the music they got a bar and stuff and they do food and stuff and there's a pool table as well Khaleesi and I just played three games I beat her three times in a row but they can't hear you so she just she's just saying yes you are much better at pool than me well done She's so graceful in defeat. <laughs> 